start off the day with a little bit of chrism beard balm. <sighs> Smells like a freshly baptized baby. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Trinity. It is where all creation stemmed from and where all creation is going back towards. Um, if there was ever a first Big Bang Theory, it would be the Christian notion of, of God where all creation comes from and where all creation is going back towards. So because of the importance of the Trinity, I just want to focus on one little aspect of it. Um, which is trying to understand it through the eyes of analogy. Uh, there are three analogies I want to focus on. The first, the first analogy comes from the notion of family. Uh, family is this life-giving center. It is fruitful, it multiplies, um, and it comes from the giving of each other. Uh, so to dive in a little deeper, you have the father, the mother, and the children. That is the family unit. The husband loves the wife to such an extent that their love is fruitful. It gives um, the fruit of children. In a similar way, the father loves the son in such a perfect way, and the son returns that love to the father in such a perfect way that the love between them becomes its own person in a way. Um, well, not in a way it does, it, be, it is its own person. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states that the Christian family is a communion of persons, a sign and image of the communion of the Father and the Son in the Holy Spirit. The, uh, the second analogy I want to point to comes from the Confessions. Uh, it's called the anthropological analogy, and St. Augustine says, or speaks of the Trinity in this way. I speak of these three, to be, to know, and to will. For I am, and I know, and I will. I am knowing, and willing, being. I know that I am, and that I will. I will to be, and to know. Therefore, in these three, let him who can do so perceive how inseparable a life there is, one life and one mind and one essence, and finally how inseparable a distinction there is, and yet there is a distinction. I am being, you are being, and that's one aspect of our life, being. Another aspect of our life is knowing. We, we can know different things. That's part of our life is, is taking in information, trying to figure out what to do with this information. With that information the, the, comes to the third aspect of our humanity, which is the willing, my response to the world. It's like I take in this knowledge of, of the Trinity, for example, and then I will it back in, in this video. But even though there are those three aspects of me, it's still just one, one me. Go, going back to God, the creator of everything, it's going to be greatly, it's going to be much bigger than that. Um, so it's not perfect in analogy, but it's helpful. God, the Father, perfect being, always was, always will be. God, the Son, perfect knowledge. He's, he's often called the Logos or the Word. The, the Son is, in a way, God, God thinking himself, and that thought is so perfect because it's the thought of God himself, uh, it becomes its own person, even though it's still God. Uh, and that's the, the knowledge, the teacher. And then the willing, the, the active spirit uh, within, uh, which we call the, the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that wills, or that, that works through humanity, through the church, in doing the will of God. And 
then lastly, I want to just touch on, it's almost an anti-analogy, or the analogy of the anti-trinity. So the anti-trinity would be me, myself, and I. Three distinct grammatical usages, but still one reference. We're very prone to using the, the me, myself, and I approach to how we talk about God or how we talk about faith when we're trying to to form God to our own image rather than forming our image to God. <sighs> Chrism. Well, obviously there's way more to the Trinity. Um, there's a famous painting of St. Augustine walking along a beach. Yeah, there it is. Walking along a beach and uh, he sees this child putting a bunch of the ocean water into this hole and he asks the child, what are you doing? And the child says, oh, I'm just putting the ocean in this hole I made. And uh, St. Augustine laughs and says, you're kind of wasting your time there, bud. Um, and the child responds to him, don't you think you're also wasting your time trying to perfectly figure out the Trinity? So yeah, just this, it's, it's, it's helpful and knowing that we can't understand the Trinity perfectly. Um, we can't understand God perfectly. It's like trying a dog trying to understand mathematics. Um, but we can get close. We can, we can understand him enough to form relationship with him, to form relationship with the Father, relationship with the Son, relationship with the Holy Spirit. And in so doing, I think we will um, really enter into the, the Trinitarian life.